You're going to work through six exercises. Again, you're doing your six exercises for a time, and then you're going to take a minute rest, and you're doing it all five times in total. Okay? So, exercise one. We're looking for our kettlebell sumo deadlift. You can use one kettlebell, you can use two, whatever you prefer. But with our sumo, it just means that our stance is much wider than what we would have for our normal conventional deadlift, okay? So wide stance, slight turnout for the toes, and we're thinking again about chest up, shoulders back. So with our two kettlebells, we're hinging forward to meet the kettlebell as a tiny wee bend in the knees, and then it's an extension up through the back. So we should really, really feel a little bit more work now, not just the lower back, but also through the glutes. You'll do 10 of those, then you'll move on to 10 of your kettlebell lunge to press. So your lunge to press, we reverse lunge, we're up overhead. We reverse lunge, we're up overhead. And we're doing each side for that. So you'll have 10 on one leg, 10 on the other, but we're pressing after each one. After that, goblet squat. So 10 of our goblet squats. Again, making sure we're sitting right back into those heels. Knees coming up out of our toes, chest up. More nice and strong through the push. After that, we've got our deficit push ups in place. This just means that with our push up, both hands are going to be on the floor. One hand's going to be up on the kettlebell, one hand's going to be on the floor. We push up, we do five on one side, then you'll swap over, bring the kettlebell on the other side, and we'll work through five on the other. Same principle, still trying to get our chest as close to the floor as possible. You can still pop down onto your knees if you need to. Just remember with the knees that we're still getting a nice straight line through our body. We don't want to look like a box or a table when we're moving through it. After that, bend over room. Ten of our bend over room. Again, we can work through with two dumbbells and get ten done all at once. Whereas if you only got one dumbbell, you can just do ten on one side. Swap over, ten on the other. So you'll get all your exercises in, but just maybe split up the And lastly, finishing off with the knee conditioner, that is the swing. Remember, snap it through, chest through, shoulders back, and as soon as our body straightens out, that's our point to come back through. So you've got your six exercises, your ten sumo deadlift, your ten kettlebell lunge and press, your ten kettlebell squats, your ten kettlebell deficit push-ups, so make sure you get that kettlebell in with your hands. 10 of your bend over room, 20 of your kettlebell swings. Take a minute rest. It's all happening five times, and then you're ready to go. Seize the day, guys. Take it easy.